Yeah, I believe that. You know, a yeah. family a family situation involves the whole yeah, family. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we have a nursery as well. I mean, some pastors they just don't like the distraction. They feel yeah. like you know, with the baby crying, other members can't really listen to the sermon. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Yeah. No, I understand that too. Um, you know, it's a it's an important part of uh, of that kind of business is uh, is is just taking care of the babies and, and the old people. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm still fond of that. You know, I, I still have a fondness for that. There's parts of that, that, uh, occupation that I guess I miss sometimes you might even say, but I enjoy what I'm doing now too a lot. And I'm happy. How you guys doing tonight? Y'all doing okay. What's happening out there in your world? Who's got the first question they want to fire off here in the Q and a, Thanks for being a part of the VIP, by the way. Thanks for being a part of uh, Real Estate Wholesalers Club, being a part of my life. I don't say that enough, but, you know, I, I really, uh, I, I, I think about you guys all the time. And how can I show you in a better, more clear way? How can I demonstrate it better? How can I, you know, how can I be better? I want to be a better coach. And I want to be a better example. And so I'm all, you know, I'm always thinking about you guys. I, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. What you mean to me is more than you might even know, really. So um, thanks for being here. Who's got a question? Hey, Rick, what's going on? Good to see you pop on here. Ryan, Joshua, Alex, Debbie, and Elise so far. I got my jug of tea, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> mm. Nice. Mama nice lets dinner. me drink it. Yeah. Mama <laughs> lets me drink it right out of the jug, you know. I'm the only one that drinks it, though, so. <laughs> She's the keeper. <clears throat> exactly. That's what I say, you know. You find one that lets you drink out of the jug, that's how you know. That's when you know. Mm-hmm. So what's going on out there, guys? You got any questions for me? Maybe maybe something I can demonstrate for you or show you? Or do you guys just want something off the top of my hat? Because I got ideas. Okay. I, I have a question. Well, okay. uh, maybe you can show. Because I do know you did um, show us before how to pull this um, from PropStream. Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, I'm not, I'm not pulling the best list. We're not having any luck. <laughs> Okay. With the list that we're pulling, yeah. Okay, let's. So I would uh, like to see if you could show, yeah, show us how to, you know, how I can pull the best list. Yeah. That or makes you sense. know what? Better yet, better yet, can you show me how to pull the expired listing? Yeah. Yeah. Expired. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll kind of give you a little. Uh, a little tour of prop stream uh, how to work the the filters and pull the lists and so on and so yeah. forth we'll take a look at it together i will warn you because i want to do that tonight that i am not an expert <laughs> by any means okay are you sure uh, yeah i make mistakes too and and uh prop stream is pretty complicated it's pretty big it's pretty deep yeah. um so i haven't mastered it but I do feel like I have a pretty decent working understanding of it. So hopefully I can show you exactly what it is you're asking me for. I'll try. Okay. I'll try my best. <laughs> I appreciate so, it. <laughs> um, and I know some of you on here are also involved in PropStream pretty, pretty deeply. So if you've got comments or suggestions, please feel free to interject. And I say that because when we're talking about getting lists, um, here's prop stream, by the way, there's no, let me, I don't know how, let me, how I want to say this, but there's no perfect answer for everyone. Okay. So in other words, it's like you'll have to do some toying around with it yourself for your market area and playing with variations on the filters because what may be perfect for Rick where he is might not be perfect for Alex where he is. Okay. 
but but a variation of the thing maybe okay now that's what i can't show you without you and me being on a one-on-one -on -one, for example and going in and just spending you know a half hour probably playing around with it together and kind of trying to hone in on what is a good part of the woods to hunt in over there where you live <laughs> you know what i'm saying does this make sense what i'm saying it does it does okay is it discouraging <laughs> uh, uh just a little <laughs> <clears throat> i don't want it to be discouraging because uh it's not complicated it's not hard but it will take some playing around with uh even the scraper and on craigslist and zillow on automated rei you have to play around with a little because in some areas zillow doesn't scrape as well as craigslist or in some other markets, Zillow is dabomb.com and Craigslist, who cares? So, um, you know, even on that machine, you have to play around. So I guess long story short, not all markets are the same and we'll have to play around with it a little bit in your particular market area. So what market area would you like to look in right now, Aluse? Um, Let's do Gainesville, okay. Florida. Or can we, um, or Alachua County? Can we do that? Uh, I don't think we can do counties. Can we do counties no? here? No, okay. What, how do you spell it? How do you spell it? Alachua, um, A-L-A-C-H-U-A. A-L-A-C-H-U-A. Okay. Yeah. In Florida? Okay. We can do yeah. counties. All right. Cool, cool. Okay. So here we pulled up a county oh, area. <clears throat> Hold on, I got more people popping in here. Okay. Who yelled at me and told me you could do counties? I love you, whoever it was. <laughs> I did. Debbie? Yeah, I knew that Debbie. one, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. I've got a cold, so I don't sound like Debbie's me. like, I got a cold and you could do counties. <laughs> <laughs> I All love right. it, Debbie. Right. Hey, you know, that's that's what I'm saying. Keep me keep me straight here, okay? Because it's so deep, you know, like I, I don't normally search counties, but you can evidently so all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up here i put in aluqua <laughs> alachua alachua uh, <laughs> whatever this what whatever this county here is i put it in here in florida and i hit enter so it just pulled up all the data for this particular area i'm it's, sorry uh, i i missed that county justin could you say it one more time please uh alakua Alakua. <laughs> Just about to be mad. Uh, it's Al Alachazam. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, nice. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but it's down there in Florida somewhere. And all the data is pulled up. So I'm going to click this button that says filters here in the middle of the top. And it's going to drop down. And now here's where I can really get specific, guys. And I want to find. And, and here's a gold nugget for you. Find the pain points right here in the filters, okay? So what you're going to have to do is work with it a little bit, play around with it to find what the sweet honey spot is for you, what you enjoy working. There is some trial and error in this a little bit uh, because you've never done it before. So be, be patient with yourself, you know, if you're, if you're new at this. Uh, now, owner occupied. Uh, what should we put here, Aluse? You tell me. Let's just uh, practice. let's just work on it. We'll build it together, you and me. Oh, what, cool. What kind, cool. Of, okay. what kind of lead? What kind of lead were you looking for? Um, uh, expired lists. Okay, I'm gonna come down here to. I'm gonna click this list of quick choices. I'm gonna click. Wouldn't it be list. failed? Okay. Failed, okay. Failed, failed yep. listings. Failed listings. Yep. Okay. And it, I, I usually put any. Okay. Is that right? Owner any? occupied. You could do any. All right. I would do, if it were me, I would choose yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Occupancy status, occupied, vacant. I would do occupied. Okay. Okay. This means that they live there. Uh huh. <laughs> right. They live there mm -hmm. and they live there. 
All right. <laughs> um, now, property characteristics. We can go through here. I, I don't think I want to fill any of this out because I, I okay. don't really I don't really want to specify it by beds and baths. I don't I don't think. I I for put, property, I put single. Is okay. that okay? I put oh, single yeah, yeah, family. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I should. And is that what you were hollering at me, Rick? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's what I usually click in, in the web as well. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Sorry. Okay. So you're exactly cool. right. I forgot that was in that tab. All right. All right. Property characteristics, single family. Anything else? Uh, probably not. MLS status. What about the year? Do okay. you ever put the year? The year built? I put year built yeah no i don't oh i don't okay uh -uh. No. and it really depends <laughs> i mean if you're wanting to focus on you know older homes then you would put like uh in the two field you want let's say you want you know 1990 and older so in the two field you would just mm -hmm. put 1990 so it just really if you know it really just depends on do you have an idea of what you want your focus to be I mean, do you want it to be some older homes that you know yeah. that may need some 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 extra love, or or like some newer ones maybe that have only mm -hmm. had ownership for five years or so? Yeah. Oh, okay. I I think that's because I I usually put the year nineteen. I usually put like nineteen uh, nineteen ninety would be the year that I put. Okay. I've done I've done deals with builders in brand new homes. Okay. Cool. They built it. The home has never been lived in. So brand new. I've also oh. done deals with houses that were over a hundred years old. So th that's my perspective Ooh. on it. But if you know what you're looking for, you could filter it like that. D does anybody have any comments on okay. what I just said there? <laughs> no, I leave it open a lot. Just you do? for okay. that okay. fact. Yeah. I mean, just for the fact that to try to catch all, and then depending on the results, yeah. if I need to filter it down a little bit, I mean, I don't need 3,000 results. Maybe I want to get more specific. Right. Then I'll start playing around with beds and square foot and age just to narrow it down if I want to really target a little bit more. Well, right now we're sitting at 345 listings uh, oh. that, match, that match this criteria. Oops. And you can tell that by looking over here at the right. It says 345 unique properties. Oh, that's not a it, lot. <laughs> it's constantly updating. Yeah, that's correct. It's uh, not really a lot. So so that's the trial and error of this is you might already be in a situation where you're not getting enough, you know, just by pulling mm. failed listings. So you might want to pull a failed listings, but then go back and do something completely different. And this is all about hitting your target numbers too, you know. So yeah, yeah. you want to keep that in mind. And you might have to be a little creative in how you piece your your numbers together to hit the target numbers. Um, nothing wrong with that. Any advice on that from anybody out there? I know there's yeah, guys change, out there. Change that owner occupied to any. Okay. Just to see if it changes the number at all. Yeah, 568. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. So that's better. Yeah. Okay. Better. Just by playing play. around with it. See, one click of a button changed my life, right? <laughs> so I'll, all I have to do is keep screwing with it a little bit. Now, I do want to get a couple pain points if I can, right? It, it, now, what do I mean by that is one could be a, it's a failed listing already. That's a painful point. But I'd like to maybe get another pain point in there somehow too. How can I do that, guys? Help me solve the problem. I'm trying to be creative here. I'm trying to... Three foreclosures. Vacancies. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, we could Divorces move Divorces or... <laughs> we, could say, we could say vacant. Vacant and... Vacant. And single family and failed listing and vacant. 52. That might be a real mm -hmm. sweet list to get. It's small... Mm. It's small, but it might be mwah, bellissima. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. But they do have a couple pain points here that potentially, right? So I would definitely consider saving this particular list. Okay. Now, how do you save the list? 
you come over here and you click this big button mm -hmm. in the top right hand corner save search mm -hmm. right okay mm -hmm. so that's how you'll you'll do it justin i got a question for you yeah can can you uh can you filter by uh last sold date on on there yes uh hold on let me i was responding to somebody in the chat room here too david rodriguez was saying we could add liens which we most certainly could so where we would do that at um i believe that was tim is that correct yeah. yep is we would come over here to the mls status okay and we would do the dates here okay or we could do you know days on market or listing amount any of these will change the dynamic of our list but the failed listing date this might be important <laughs> okay if we want to think about what would we put here and why would we put it here let, let's get some answers from the gallery what do you guys think because it really this is what it, this is my process guys and I, I'm, I'm not trying to sound dumb tonight but i'm dumb I'm, I'm just as dumb as you guys are when it comes to this shit right here. All I have to do is get in here and play around with it, though, because I'm never going to master all of this data and all these filters and all this how, you know, I'm going to find one or two or three I like, and I'm going to kind of stick with that, right? So you, the only way to get there is to play around like we're doing right now, okay? Because I've never even heard of, of, of uh, Wachahoocha County, <laughs> all right so you, you feel me so I, when i asked you if i was discouraging you earlier that's what i mean is i don't want you to be discouraged because i i too have to play around like this okay when i go into a new market area my team goes into a new market area we we have to sit, seriously play around a little bit until we find something we like okay I even do it in my home market and I've been here for years and years and years. I still have to get in here and play around. All right. Once I get it set though, I can set up the notifications. So that it lets me know what's happening when new things hit that fit those parameters. So it gets easier. This is what separates maybe the men from the boys uh, when it comes to lists is your ability to get in here and find and create your own list that has your own pain points. Nobody else has that. Nobody else is working that. You see, you follow me? This is a beautiful thing we're here doing right now, but I'm literally showing you my process. I'm just, I'm just sitting here thinking through it. Okay. Uh, anything we would want to put here, failed listings, anything like that? Any? Well, any, another, <clears throat> yeah, probably if you want to narrow down that 52, you could just go back to the filled listing minimum time frame of like 90 days and then leave the other blank and then mark the on market to no. So it's failed its listing within the past 90 days. It's currently not on the market and it's vacant. That's really going to narrow down. <clears throat> okay. Not at 52 not, or even lower. So yeah, not on the market is still 52. Uh, yep, so and then, then go to that failed listing in the minimum, the first box, the yeah. failed listing. Yeah right here and then yeah and then just go 90 days back i'm sorry man i don't know why but the video part of our zoom room like covers up the screen in important ways for me and it makes it hard for me to see shit <laughs> does anybody else have that issue i think it fixes it for you guys i think because i'm the host i gotta move this somehow how do i move this you can click control okay and then i got scroll, it scroll your mouse down and it should uh like lower your screen to like a 90%. That might help. Okay. It's flipping. When I do that, it's flipping through the calendar. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it though, Rick. Uh, all oh, right. Sure, man. Here I am February. And today yeah, just, is. Just click back three months. Like uh, the little arrow on the, yeah. to the left of F. I want to make sure I got the, Oh man, what I do. I want to make sure I got the right date in there because oh. I was accidentally clicking things, trying to move it. Just, thing. Like sometimes locally when I'm looking at failed listings, I'll click it on on the market, no. Failed listings, okay. like I'll go back 90 days and then I'll go back 120 days. So I know it's failed within the past three or six months and it's currently not on the market. So that I'm kind of like, okay. okay. Yeah. 
Great idea. So that's, just, that's just one way of doing it. I mean, I'm just, I'm just sharing some things that I've, yeah. that I'm doing myself just to kind of, you know, weed out some potentials. Yeah, no, that's perfect. And that's a great example, Rick, because, you know, you're going to do it differently than Elusa is going to do it, than, you know, Joshua is going to do it, than David's going to do it, than Ryan's going to, everybody's going to have their own little angle here and that you discover that you find in your market because your market's different, but failed listings. So I put here on the failed listings block, the first box of uh, November 19th, 2019. So is that what you were referring to, Rick? Three months back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So now it's, um, we know it's failed within the past three months and it's currently yeah. not on the market and it took it yes. from 52 to 14. So that's a, 14. that's a pretty hot 14 maybe, right? Yeah. There. You would think, yeah, you would think this 14 would be potential, uh, honey pot, you know, um, definitely. So a good way to think through this, is there anything, anything else, any other ideas anybody wants to to change or work on this particular scenario? Sometimes in, lose... in larger counties. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep interrupting, man. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go for it, Rick. Sometimes in larger counties, if the number is still high, I'll go over to days on the market and I'll start adding numbers in there. I'm like, okay, it failed within the past three months. It's not on the market now, but it was on the market for, uh, for six months. So like that days on market minimum, I would put like, let's say 180 days, like it was on the market for six months. Yeah. It's failed within the past three and it's not on the market. So I mean, again, it depends on the, the numbers, but that just draws down numbers more and more. Yeah. So if I put in, it was on the market, when it was on the market, it was on the market for at least 90 to 120 days. That brings it down to three. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, and th look at this one, this one in the middle, actually all these look like nice houses to me. Um, so, you know, maybe potentially deals there. Of course there's three. I, I would, I would not filter it down this far. Would you guys? No, 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 not I at would, all. If, if the, if the total initial list was like, you know, a thousand, you're like, Oh my gosh, you know, then I would really start filtering to get down to a number that I could handle, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, so Elouse, does that help or is there more about this that, that we can delve into? No, that helps tremendously. Okay. I'm, I'm going through it myself, yeah, thank you. Okay, let's, um, let's back out of here. <laughs> let's back out of here oh, and Justin? try, yeah. Uh, looks like David David got kicked out. He's saying uh, he needs to get back in. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Sorry. There, there you go. Uh, it. I was sharing screens, and so it didn't pop up, and in my chaos. Uh, welcome back, David. Um, let's. I've backed out of the search that we just did. L let, let's run another one for practice. I, I know somebody in the Zoom room has an idea of a list that they would like to kind of pull um, or look at and we can kind of let's work through it like we just did with a loose and the failed listings let's work through some others now uh, by the way I do have on the playlist on YouTube channel it's called there's a playlist on my YouTube channel called wholesaler tools and agreements and in that playlist there's a there's some some real good information on how to pull some some pretty neat lists here uh some super stealthy techniques those are good trainings um they're a little fast paced so you might have to watch it more than once but again if you go and try to duplicate it exactly as it shows on the video you might not have uh, results that blow your socks off because it's again a different market you'll have to play with the filters a little bit until you find something that feels good okay i i know i've said that 18 times but i i don't think i can stress it enough there's there's no perfect answer for everybody I, like i can't say okay guys i cracked the code everybody tonight go find your failed listings uh days on market 90 to 100 Failed listen last, you know, at least three months back, you know, everybody that's, that's it. Go do it. 
go and do likewise. Okay. Because 50% of you will probably fail <laughs> because that wasn't great advice for your market. Okay. And what you're doing. I hope that makes sense what I'm saying without being, without sounding negative. Okay. There is some work involved in this. I don't know about you guys, but I have fun playing around with this, you know, working with these filters. So who's got another idea? Let's, I backed out of there. Let's do it. Let's do a different County, something I can pronounce maybe. Um, and let's try another, let's try another one just for practice sake. Does that sound cool? Does anybody object to that? That's cool. What about Gainesville? We could try Gainesville. Okay, let's do it. Pulling the same. Gainesville, Florida. Oh, shit. All right. Uh -oh. It pulled up two unique properties. <laughs> let's see here. Hmm. There must not be much going on in Oh, this is still the failed listing stuff. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to clear, clear all. And we're going to start here at Gainesville. I should have cleared all to begin with. Sorry. All right. Now there's 68,035 potential. <laughs> all right. We don't want that many for goodness sake. So let's go down here to uh, the filters. Now let's, let's dream for a minute and let's practice. Somebody throw some ideas at me here and let's see if we can build us a stellar uh, super ninja real estate wholesaler list. Let's talk about, let's use David Rodriguez's idea and throw in liens. Okay. David put in here 10 years plus vacant plus on the market 90 days or more. Ooh, David, David, such great answers coming out of you. 10 years ownership. Yep. 10 years ownership, 10 years or more. I understood what you meant, but excellent. Okay. So let's try to do this. Um, uh, we want to look for 10 years vacant, 10 years of ownership vacant and on the market 90 days or more. Okay. Uh, failed listings though, or just still active on the market, David. That's the question. All right, man, you threw so many at me. I'm trying to remember all the parameters so I can start clicking filters. So y'all, y'all feed it to me. Work with me here. You guys in the zoom room, where do I begin? Expired and the parameters David chose Mitzi right to everyone. Okay. Expired and okay. Let's play around with these. Can you guys see this stuff in the chat? Like me, the zoom room. Chat? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All so right. For owner occupy, we'll do any. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do, do, yep, any. And then the next one, occupancy status. Okay, any. Do we need to quick list choice anything here, guys, to make this list come together? See, I'm, I'm trying to force you guys to tell me because I want you to, I want you to step out with the experience of doing this. Because we're just brainstorming. I don't have the right answers in my back pocket. I'm doing this just like you're doing it right now. I'm just working through the ideas here that I have to get a super sniper list. And now I'm going to play with the filters and see if I can build it. Okay. So, uh, here we go. Feed me the answers guys. Owner occupied. So, uh, Any, and what's, what, what, what would I do? Quick list choices. Links. For, Mit for Mitzi's I would do failed listings for sure. Let's try that. She said failed yeah. listings expired. And then I wasn't clear on David. 90 days still active will probably be great for lease options. Hmm. They would have to drop their realtor though, David. That's the issue with that. They would have to drop their, but I agree. So let's do it both ways. Let's do it both ways on the market. Okay. Quick list choice on the market. Uh, 10 years or more. That would be down here in the ownership info. Okay. Last sale date would be 10 years ago. So let's go from 2020 down to 2010. 
You all following me so far? What, what happened? Oops. It didn't click. No, no. Okay. Ten years ago. That's the uh, that's the ownership ten years, right? Are you guys still there? So quiet. <laughs> yeah, I'm here, man. I'm just listening. Hey, let uh, let me in, could you? I'm on the laptop. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Okay, I'm admitting you. Okay. Thanks, as long man. as you guys are tracking me, you guys are so quiet. I don't know if you fell asleep or if I lost your maybe my internet cut off or something. Um, okay. You could do for rent by owner. Can it do for rent by owner? I don't think PropStream can do for rent by owner. No, that's not a dumb question, Mitzi. That's a fabulous question. And dang it, they ought to do for rent by owner. Okay, so what we got here is we got the last sale date, 10 years or more. I'm going to have to scroll up now. <laughs> okay, uh, plus vacant. Okay, he said plus vacant, so I'm going to click vacant, plus on the market 90 days or more. So I'm going to come over here to MLS status, and I'm going to click on the market uh, 90 days or more, 90 days to blank, okay? And hey, Justin? Yeah. Um, just to share with you, sometimes um, underneath that MLS status where it says keyword, Sometimes yeah. you can type in there for rent, and if any of the listings had the word for rent in their description, it would pull up into that keyword section too, I believe. Oh, what a great tip. What a great tip. Uh, I, I didn't realize that. See, I'm learning something. In this particular case, that there is no listings there because when I put that keyword in, it brought the unique properties to zero. Yeah, I don't so, know how reliable that keyword search is. I, 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 I rarely use it. Sometimes I'll type yeah. in fixer, like I'll do a like fixer upper or fixer or uh, rehab needed. And I'll play around with it if the numbers are large, just to see if I can pull out any words that fit an ugly house. Um, perfect. It's a great tip. Uh, I haven't played with that much myself. So let me see if I can get Okay, so do we have the 10 years? Yep, yeah, we got 10 years ownership. We got vacant, yep. Yeah, we got on the market, yep. Yeah, we got 90 days or more on market, yep. Yeah. Okay, that brings down to 14 properties. This is the list that David wanted in Gainesville, Florida. Very, very, very specific. Now, what Mitzi wanted though, however, is slightly different. We could go over here and quick list choices slide down to failed listings. Okay, and these are the expireds, right? Same parameters over here, 90 days on, uh, probably, yeah, we could, we could do 90 days more on market. We could keep that. We could keep the ownership status. Let's see, ownership info. Yep, 10 years or more. There's eight properties that fit those parameters, Mitzi. So not too shabby on that. Let me scroll down and see if you guys wanted to change around the, uh, I gotta find the chat again here. Uh, Zoom wants me to use all these hot keys. You guys know what hot keys are? It's like, it's like what Rick was saying, hit control F and then like stand on one leg and press the seven button with your big pinky toe and then it'll automatically <laughs> i can't never i can never remember these hotkeys man uh okay so i'm looking at the chat expired and parameters david chose okay that's mitzi 90 days active still will probably be great for lease options yeah 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 i mean it could be if they're willing to dump the realtor can it do for rent by owner okay still here at work i understand yes okay all right, I think we cleared it up. All right, so I hope that helps too. That's another way of doing a list. That's a completely different list. Let's do let's do one more. I'm having fun. You guys want to practice one more or are you sick of this? Feedback, guys. Give me some feedback. There 
everybody's good. Okay, I got a chat coming in. No, let's do more. Okay, Think let's that, play around. Yeah. I know I'm having fun. Okay, <laughs> it's Wednesday. Let's, let's get real crazy with it. We let's get real crazy with it. Let's pick a different area. Let somebody give me a different area and let's get real crazy with it and come up with a real, real good list. And then I want you guys to go, it'll be your homework to go out in your own marketplaces and play around like this until you find some things. Now keep your target numbers in mind, guys. Okay. Don't forget about target numbers. Now, just because you're having a, a super specific list doesn't mean you don't need to hit certain numbers, right? You need to still be having five conversations a day. You, you know, you still need to be um, interacting with these folks. Th this isn't a surefire method way. We don't know that out of these eight unique properties, one of them will be a deal or not. So, you know, don't put all your eggs in one small basket. Let's do, let's do another one. Somebody give me an area. Mitzi, Mitzi, give me an area. Where'd you guys go? How about Denver? Let's do Denver, Tim. Denver. Colorado. Did you clear all your filters? Uh, must not have. Let's see here. Yeah. Can we try leans this time, maybe? Yes. Let's do that, Debbie. Excellent idea. And Denver, Colorado. Drill down, separate it down to um, IRS tax leans. <laughs> wow. You tested me now. Tested me. <laughs> Debbie, you're testy today. What's what's the matter? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> you yelled at me I earlier. Think and, and, I think and, 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 I think Burton did that in one of your videos you have. <laughs> yeah, I think he did too. Pretty amazing. Now these liens, guys, I want you to understand the liens are not voluntary. Okay, so it's not like they went out and got a second mortgage or an equity line of credit, and which is called a HELOC, by the way. For those of you who may not have caught that, when other people are talking, you hear them say, I got a HELOC. That's a home equity line of credit. Okay, that's a voluntary note they took on the home. They, they leveraged the home, the equity in the home to get, so there's a lien on the property. That was all voluntary. That is not this. These liens are involuntary liens. So they're state liens, they're county liens, tax records, you know, tax liens, they're hospitalization liens or mechanics liens or what have you. They're, people are in a pickle, okay? So when you see liens here, that's what it's referring to. So I've got Denver, Colorado pulled up. There's 266,000 wow. potential <laughs> pieces of data to work with here. I don't know how busy you are, Tim, but if you've got enough time, would you get to work soon on these 266,000 potential yeah. deals that you have here in Denver? Or what are you Let's waiting on? I'll get on? right on that. Yeah. I mean, if you start now, you might finish it before wow. Christmas. <laughs> and please use a single line dialer. <laughs> oh, of course. I've got an old rotary phone I'll lend you if you want. That would really speed things up for me. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I would just use two soup cans and a fishing line. <laughs> just throw it across the street. Yeah, drive by. There you go. Yeah, I mean, that's why they call this creative real estate, you know? So just get real creative with it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're in Denver. We're going to talk about liens. But do we need to go in with liens or can we go in with something else as the initial quick list choice? What do you guys think? Let's, high get, equity. let's get creative with, it. oh, high equity. All right, we're going for some ugly houses, right? Maybe. <laughs> now that brings it down to a hundred. That's opportunity. Yep, uh, that's 170,000 unique properties now. So if you get to work on that now, Tim, 
um, sometime by the end of summer, you should be able to report back to us if you found any. <laughs> How can we filter this down further, guys? Let's be creative. There's no menu. There's no recipe. We're just daydreaming. We're brainstorming. We're practicing. There's no right or wrong answers. Let's let's play. Somebody throw out an idea. Single family. Talk. Okay, let's do single family. Single I'm gonna go family. To prop property characteristics, and I'm going to click single family. Okay. What about uh, your price range or square footage range or three two three two two? Okay. If we want to get real specific, let's do a three bedroom and bathroom two baths and let's see here what that does brings it down to 44,677 so Tim if if you're not busy um, if you're not doing anything else no. well shit I may need some help well I mean you might you might wrap this up by Easter if you get started right away <laughs> So how do we get this down? <laughs> we got to get this down. That's not enough. Right now we got three bedroom, two bath houses, single family houses with high equity. That's all we have. That's the only, uh, yeah, that's the only parameters we have. Do absentee. Okay. We could do absentee owners. We got some chat going on here too. Try failed listings. Oh, Mitzi put it in the chat. Sorry. I missed that Mitzi. Maybe we'll do that one next. What's that? I mean, I'm here with her, Justin. Sorry. Oh no, she was. Uh, she put in a zip code seventy seven zero seventy seven, and we we went ahead and dove into Denver. I, I didn't. Oh, that's see fine. It. I didn't see it quick enough. But we'll, let's we'll go. Let's go, let's go mile high. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna jump in the seventy seven zero double seven. Man, that's a cool cool zip code. I wish I lived in that zip code. Shaken, not stirred. Hey, don't yeah. <laughs> yeah it's 77 oh double seven that's really cool all right um would you say vacant what was it absentee okay absentee owner okay so uh so owner occupied would be no okay now that brings it down to nine thousand four hundred seventy one so tim you can do that on saturday tim tim Absolutely. if you're not doing any, yeah if you're not doing anything the next couple weekends man <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see a pound in the phones. We got 9,471 oh. people. You can skip trace and start cold calling. For sure. Uh, or we could knock it down a little more. What do you guys think? Well, by price, uh, I guess. Huh? You could probably make the individual from the corporate. Uh, okay. How would we do that? Ownership info down here? Yes. Right there. Owner, owner type. Owner type. We're going to go to individual, individual. instead of corporate. Okay. Excellent notion. Go. Yeah, Excellent that's really good. Notion. Get that Alex. Head over there. Alex with a base hit. Boom. That's I like good. To go, uh, I like to go square foot minimum 1,000. Okay. Square foot minimum one thousand. Now tell us why you do that, Rick. I, I think I know the answer, but I'd like to hear you say it. I mean, why do I go minimum square? Yeah, now thousand? that's in that's in the property characteristics, and and I'll slide down here to minimum square yeah, feet. Where's where's that at? Uh, have I missed it? No, that's the lot building size. to the left. Building size square foot. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now a thousand to whatever okay why do you do that rick well i mean if if i pull up a three bedroom i just and depending on the area of, of course I'm, I'm just looking for a little bit greater size but a lot of times i do a one bedroom that's a thousand square foot so there's room to add another room yeah great idea see creative creative it wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea to find two bedroom houses that have a thousand or more square feet, maybe even 1200 square feet. Cause then there's room for a third bedroom and a second bath. Right. Cause a lot of times you can do one bedroom, a thousand square foot and it pulls up and it's like, Hey, there's, you know, there's going to be room there to make it into yeah. a second bedroom, increased value. So, so many variables with this for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys from my personal experience, I have wholesaled a bunch of deals in my career where the property was a two bedroom, but it had square feet enough, like 1200 or more. 
or close to, and I was it was able to the way it was, you know, on the inside the the flow of the house the the floor plan, it was able to be added in a, a bedroom and a bathroom, so it would make it a three two, which changes the value by the way in these in certain neighborhoods. There's a neighborhood here in Kansas City. I'll give you an example. It's called Prairie Village. Okay, it's where all the people who think they're better than everybody else live. It's 30 minutes away from everything, all right? I hate going to Prairie Village because it's just a big inconvenience. <laughs> but I love to wholesale deals in Prairie Village. If I find a two-bedroom in Prairie Village, I'll find one maybe for 160, 180,000. If I find one with enough square feet to put a third bedroom and a second bath in there, it's now instantaneously worth three hundred and fifty, four hundred thousand. There are neighborhoods like that, guys. So, creative real estate. We can find those two bedrooms with the with the square feet that's large enough for a third and a bath, if we use the filters. So, great idea to to use it in that manner. If and and thanks, Rick, for bringing that up, man. Um, so that brings the unique properties down to 4,189. We are not owner occupied, absentee owner. Uh, we are any occupancy status. We're single family homes. We are owned by an individual and we're three bedroom, two bath house with high equity minimum a thousand square feet. We still have 4,189 people for uh, Tim to call this weekend. So we probably ought to knock this down some more. How would we do well, it? Well, uh, since, it's, since it's a high equity and they have a lot of equity in the home, you probably want to go to ownership because they've owned it for a while and play with the numbers of five, maybe 10, 15 years of ownership. You better bring it down. Okay. All right. Let's try that. Years of ownership. Let's say five plus years. Actually, let's do 10. Because that brought it down to 3,634. Yeah. So let's try Five, 10. 10 or 15. 10 brings it down to 2,750. Okay. 15 years of ownership brings it down to 1,972. So now you're getting into the people that owned the home for so long, they probably want to, you know, get out of it or have been uh, landlords or something like that as well. Um. Now take it off market. Okay. Now take it off market. Hey, Mitzi, what do you mean? What does what cost? What does PropStream cost? I've got an affiliate link you can use and save a whopping $3 a month. Newsflash. I've got the weakest affiliate plan ever. That's a gallon of gas, man. Man, I'll tell you what. I'll throw that $3 in for you every single month if you use my link. Um, <laughs> it's actually a great tool. I'd rather pay 97 than a hundred. It's normally a hundred. My link gives you the deal for 97. So, uh, that's what it costs. If you're talking about prop stream, Mitzi. Yeah, um, we were, we just didn't know what it ran. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. It's, it's definitely worth having, um, because you can do this. You can really understand your market, but also, um, I like it because it gives me comparables. It gives me property values. That's what I use it for mostly. And then I like it because I can download up to 10,000 records <clears throat> like this a month. So 10,000 unique properties you can download a month. Um, if you're using these techniques right here, goodness gracious, that's a lot of fertile ground to pull up. You know, I mean, there, that's a whole bunch, 10,000 is a lot, uh, more than you need to get going for sure. So um, let's switch it. What'd you say? Take it off market now? Is that what somebody said? Or put yeah, it on the market? I, yeah, I just said, yeah, that's just to see. MLS okay. so, no. So I'm not going to change it in the quick list choice, guys. I'm going to come down here no. to MLS status and I'm going to change it in the on market. I'm going to change it to no. It's not on market. Okay, that brings it to 1,959. Did that change anything? Yeah. Very little. It, okay. Yeah, very little, but like 15 or 16 or something. Yeah. So 1,959. It's still a pretty good 
number. I would start considering pulling the trigger on this one right now if it were me. But we could would, probably filter it down even further. My concern with this list is it's not very much pain points, though. I mean, you've got good criteria, but what what is the motivation for the seller? Bingo! Yeah, I'm so glad I'm so glad answer. you brought that up. And we've forgotten something here. Thank you for bringing that up, Tim. I totally 100% agree with you. We need to be mindful of the pain points when we're pulling our filters together and building our list. So, how can we? add some pain points here we had previously mentioned liens yep tax liens so let's go down here to the lien section and let's see what kind of liens they have tax liens homeowners association mechanics liens utility liens that'd be like the water company or something solar lien i don't know i guess the sun is mad at them child support lien oh boy and other all right well we could do we could do all of those uh, quick target status has active lien has active bankruptcy has active divorce okay so we might have to play around with this more than once to find the one we want give me some ideas guys let's play <coughs> excuse me divorce has divorce okay let's try that Zero properties. <laughs> Zero properties. Okay. Has active lien. 23 properties with an active lien. <laughs> Do these look like code violations or anything? I don't think so. Rick, do you have any knowledge of that with PropStream? I think there's something in there for like a utility. Yeah, there's a utility lien um, right here. No, I was just uh, thinking about, you know how you get your county code violations and stuff? I didn't right. Know. Yeah, I don't Sorry, think I was, so. I was muted out, man. I didn't, uh, what was that last part? Uh, I was just asking if they did something about code violations in various places. Yeah, I don't believe so. I think just lean. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, if so, I, I couldn't tell you how to do it. Um it just lets you get real specific as to when the bankruptcy was recorded or the lien amount or the tax delinquency uh, time frame or the divorce filing date. Uh, you can get real crazy specific into pain points here, but we want to add a pain point. So let's add a pain point. Let's find a tax lien. That's mm -hmm. probably the most popular kind of non-voluntary lien going. And this is like the county or the state government has put a lien on these properties. That brings it down to 61. All right. Now, here's what I recommend. Play around with this lien amount. Now, what if the lien was only, you know, what if it was only $175? Is that really a, is that really a pain point for somebody? No. Not really. I've been starting at maybe five thousand. Let's try a thousand and see what happens. One property, <laughs> one property. Okay. <laughs> um, this is a high equity deal with long time ownership and a pretty decent tax lien. Okay. So uh, it's it looks like a huge place. Five bedroom, four bath, 2,463 square feet. Estimated value is a million bucks right there in Denver. So not really a successful, not a successful, uh, really a successful filter session here. Um, we don't want to go that deep because we're, we're eliminating everyone. So how can we, how can we find pain points? Or maybe we need, just need to go back and clear all and start over and really develop it with pain points. Well, I think your beds and bathrooms are making the list really small. I agree. 100%. I agree. So let's go over here to property info and change it from three, two to zero, zero. It'd be anything now. Okay. 4,225. Let's go back to liens and now let's do a tax lien. Still what about the building size? Let's try to do, let's try to, un that? yeah, yeah, let's erase that. Let's see what happens. 
You see what we're doing? We're just playing around here. There's no Sweet. perfect answers. There's, you know, uh, now we're back up to 286 that have a tax lien. Okay. Now let's try it. See now with a thousand dollars or more. <clears throat> Six properties that's, that owe over a thousand dollars in tax liens, right there in Denver, that are high equity. All of that stuff, all of that. What can we do to change this? Any ideas, or maybe we need to scrap it and start over. We can do that. There's, we can do anything in our world. <laughs> We're happy little squirrels and we're just looking around for a nut. That's all. No ideas? Oh, somebody's throwing something in the chat. Amount of lien over 15,000. Okay. Trying to take out the high equity. Try taking out the high equity. Okay. Hmm. Let's try to take out the high equity. And let's go 15,000 loan amount, lien amount. Four properties. Four properties. Not very big, but very, very specific still. Very specific. So remember, our ownership is uh, 15 years or more. Goodness gracious, that's a long time. So let's change that see here ownership info 15 years or more let's do let's do 10 see what happens seven properties let's do five 13 properties let's try zero <laughs> 16 properties Denver has what? low property taxes so I don't know the tax lien is going to be the way that you okay. get a specific list all right, great. So what would you advise us, Tim? Um, well, I didn't have a follow-up to that. I just I just know that taxes are not probably going to be an issue here in, in yeah. Colorado, mostly. Let's see here. Child support liens, nothing shows up. Okay. I don't, I don't, I, you know, I would just, if it were me, I'd give up. I would just quit now. <laughs> I'm just teasing, man. But, uh, but for real, I might back out of here and just start over. Let's start over. <laughs> Let's try something different. We'll do it. We'll do it quicker this time. Okay. We're going to do Denver. Let's try it differently this time, Tim. You know, you can just exit like uh, right there underneath my search, how it starts filling in all your criteria. There's a, once you hover over that, you can start red Xing everything and just pull things out one at a time too. Some people okay. may not know that. Yeah, I, I actually didn't know that. That's great. Okay. Start adding filters and you'll see that they show up under my search and then you can red X them out. So if you want to pull one out, you can just pull one out at a time and then you can turn around and add something else. That way you don't have to clear all. Yeah, that's a great idea. Great tip. Okay, so let's do one real quick in Denver, guys. Let's find a great list for Tim in Denver. Somebody throw it out there. I'll start building it. Vacant. Vacant. Okay. Vacant properties. Owner occupied. No. Right. Or any or yes. What do you guys think? It's vacant. But no. No. So no. Okay. No. O occupancy status. Vacant. Okay. Let's try that. Let's see off market let's go off market let's go off market let's go All right, I'm gonna stop status talking. no no to the on market <clears throat> okay what's next guys we're down to 3,534 where's the pain points too property characteristics single family or property okay. type I meant yep 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 that's a good one now, should I always should I always select single family or can I just leave that blank? I I do. Okay. okay. Um, but you know, if you don't mind calling on multifamily stuff, that's okay too. Okay. Okay, we're down to nine hundred eighty seven. But where's the pain points? 
what we got what do we have so far we've oh, got okay. absentee owner vacant there's a pain point there's another pain point or at least one good pain point single family on market 987 is there another pain point we can add to this we have we, we want to get at least two pain points if we can we got one now. It's absentee vacant house, absentee owner with a vacant house. That's that's a that's a pain point. Let's see if there's any NODs. Okay. What what in the, what in the world does an NOD mean, man? Oh, I'm sorry. Notice of uh, underneath pre foreclosure. It's the notice of default. Okay. 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 Got gotcha. you. All status. Uh, what we have is notice of default right here. Let's see if any pull up. Four. Oh wow. Okay. That narrowed it down too much. That narrowed it down a lot. But now we have an absentee owner with a vacant house that's getting foreclosed on or will be. Do you think that's a motivated list right there? More than likely. More than likely. More than likely. Okay. So, you know, yes, there's not 400, but these four are probably pretty good. Now, what's great about PropStream, though, guys, is, is I can come over here and I can save search, right? And then, and then over here, I'll, I'll just show you over here on the left, I can click my properties and it'll pop up down here, marketing lists. It'll have my list saved. So even though it was four, that's okay. I can have had four here from this list, 63 from this list, another 63 from that list, 23 from that list, 36 from that list. Now I've got a great list, right? Of, of a couple hundred people maybe four or 500 people that I can skip trace now and do all at the same time. Does that make sense where I'm coming from? <laughs> or did I lose you? Gotcha. Are you guys there? Okay. All right. Let's do seven, seven, Oh, seven, seven, Texas. This is for Mitzi. This might be the last one we do guys. All right, we got 77077 Texas pulled up. Uh, let's go to filters here, and let's, let's start looking for lists over here in Texas. Let's build one for Mitzi. Mitzi, give me an idea. Are you there? Yes. What kind of lead would you like to start out with? Any lead, anything. Give me just, just give me a something to start off with and we'll all jump in and, and work at it together. Like something expired. Okay. Or falling off or how do you, how do they, how do they word it? They don't say expired. They say something else. They say failed listings. Failed yes. listings. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So I'm gonna click that and go down to failed listings. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, any other ideas guys? Owner occupied, uh, vacant or or not vacant. Property characteristics, ownership info, anything, anything. Pain points, pain points. Failed listings could be a pain point. Could be, could be, could be motivated. Could be frustrated. Could be tired of it. Could be a good lease option opportunity. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Failed listings, but there's 327 in that zip code that are failed. Uh, let's get more specific. Let's find one more pain point and, and we can call it a wrap on this list. We got can one we pain point. Can we foreclosures? Uh, okay, let's try that. Let's try down here. Liens bank. Uh, wait a minute. Not that one. Um, where was it? We were just right doing it. You got it. No, you had it. Right there. Before, there we go. All right. Let's try this and do notice of default list pendants. That's pre foreclosure. None of those failed, none of the failed listings are in pre foreclosure in that zip code. Oh, I didn't see that. Better so, than a non disclosure state. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's probably true too. I'm not sure. Um, so let's, you know, you guys in Texas might know better than me. Um, let's, let's try a different pain point since that one's not a successful one. Anybody? Vacant single family. Vacant. Okay. okay. That's good. Okay. Occupancy pet status vacant, and then property characteristics single family. 
10 properties, failed listings, vacant, single family. Yes. I say yes. yes. That sounds like a pretty good list of 10 properties. 10 I think there's decent a deal leads. in there. I think I feel like there's a deal in there. I feel like I feel like though if I take out single family and we just go for everything, it changes to 12. Where where are those multi families at? Oh, there there's one. Looks like maybe. Yeah, it's a real good area. Yeah. So you might even include those, you know, depending yeah, on the townhouse in there. So yeah. Yeah. You might be able to do townhouses. Yeah. Hey, can uh, I ask you a question about that? Just, you said yeah. uh, you pull up to 10,000. Uh, I mean, you're not going to do one list, but you know, a, a month. So you're not counted until you actually download a list, right? Yeah. When I, yeah. When I, uh, when you save it, save it to my yeah. saved lists over here. Like right. I was showing, yeah. Then, then it's considered towards my ten thousand. But I don't save it until I get what I want, right? You know. I just and it just keeps. Yeah. I, I just wanted to clarify. Thanks. Yeah. No, that's that's a great question, man. Great Actually, question. for a, for a C note, this is very uh, fruitful. This is very good. Yeah. Yeah. For a, for a what? <laughs> a a C oh yeah, uh, I'm following you. Yeah, not bad. Um, and it does a whole lot more than this. Uh, but this is one one very very good benefit of PropStream is being able to get in there and find that stuff. Um, what, are, what are some? Uh, I know you would want like a, a more Socrates teaching, and I appreciate it. What are some pain things that you personally look at that we could learn from? Yep, uh, great question. I like to look at uh, failed listings. Okay, uh, that's true. Uh, I also like to do this one here. Uh, it's one of my favorites that nobody else really does that I know. And that's where you come in um, and you find the, uh, it's not failed listings, but it's on market. And then we go to MLS status. Well, we days, on market, probably, huh? days on market oh. would be instead yeah. of 180 days, I'm going to do 160 days. Um, so, you know, they're, they're, what I'm doing is, is they're, their uh, listing exclusive listing agreement with their realtor is probably generally six months long. Um, right now I'm catching them right before it expires. Okay. <laughs> so if it's active on market and it's about to expire, that's a great time to start breaking into these folks' mind. Um, because as soon as that realtor goes away, or as soon as that ex uh, listing agreement expires, they're going to tell the realtor to go away. And I'm going to be the only one, the only one. No, hopefully, but that's one I like. I hope that helps. It does. <laughs> it does. Thank you so much, Justin. Yeah. We're learning a lot tonight. Well, great, great. I hope you are learning a lot. I want, that's what the goal is. Um, we've been cracking at this now for, uh, a little over an hour, so we ought to bring it to a wrap for tonight. But um, I Thank did want to. So I, I I hope that really cleared up. Um, you're welcome. I hope it cleared up some of the the confusion about this. I I want to stress one more time before we wrap up the call, though, that just like we did tonight, you have to have to have to get in there and play around and build your lists. And you might build a list that's a composition of several lists, okay? And then maybe you export them all and you upload them to automated REI and you skip trace them and then text blast them there. Or maybe you just use the marketing features and the skip tracing right there on PropStream. The world is your oyster. But you have to do the work of getting in there and just toying around with it because, you know, I, I almost feel bad as a coach when people are like, hey, Tell me what list I get down here that's really going to just be the best list ever. You got me. You got me. You asked me, a, you, that's a stumper. I don't know the answer. Um, I would have to literally sit down and play with it like that myself, okay? Because there's no perfect answer. There's no ninja secret that works in all places. So don't be afraid to be wrong and play around with it. it once you have the subscription, it doesn't cost anything to play around like what we were just doing. 
when you when you get your your list the way you want it, set up your notifications so it lets you know when a new one hits that when it comes available that hits those parameters, those filters, it'll let you know. So you don't have to constantly be searching. Okay. There's some there's some cool cool things about this. So but everybody everybody's dumb. Me, you, everybody else, none of us really know. We have to get in there and play. So we played tonight. Now your homework, go play some more and do it for yourself and your markets and start saving some lists so that you can prepare to skip trace and generate leads because that's the lifeblood of your business. The leads gotta, gotta, gotta have leads. If you don't have leads, you ain't got nothing on the day. You heard me say it before on the day that you as a real estate wholesaler, self-employed business person, on the day you do not have leads to call, you are not self-employed, you are just straight unemployed. Leads, leads, okay? So, gotta have them. That's how you get them. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you, great session. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys. Great yeah, call, we'll, Justin. We'll, we'll talk to you guys soon, okay? I'll see you guys All in right. the Zoom room for one-on-ones and stuff, okay? And I'm proud of you guys. Great job this week in the Zoom uh, in the VIP club. You guys are really kicking butt. Aiden's not here tonight. Aiden's killing it. David Rodriguez is here tonight. He's straight killing it. This guy's an assassin. All right. Um, you guys can do it too. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you were laughing because I called David an assassin, but that's funnier than you, you might imagine. If you knew what that guy does for a living, you'd be like, oh, why do you say that? <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Have a good rest of your night, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>